Well, hello, and welcome to Worship with Greystone Presbyterian Church. I'm Joe Straup, and I'm one of the pastors here at Greystone, and it's good to be together in worship. Yes, some things are a little different. I shaved off my goatee, just figured I'd get that out of the way. Um, but we come together in this time to worship, to reflect on what God has done, to come together in song, in reflection on scripture and on prayer, to remind each other of what is so important to remember in times that can be joyful or troubling. And so this time, um, we're glad that you're joining us. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, one of the ways you can let us know, um, and if you're joining us for the hundredth time, um, ways that you can let us know you're taking part are to go to graystonepc.org connect. It's a chance to let us know that you're with us today, as well as a chance to share any ways that we can be praying for you. Uh, in this season, there's lots of concerns and joys that come up over the course of these weeks that have stretched on. Uh, and it's just a way for us to continue to stay involved in each other's lives. Um, we have people who've been praying um, for all the things that come up over the course of this uh, and things that you submit on this form. So just let us know. Um, we would love to continue to pray for you and just be able to stay connected that way. Um, this service, we come together and we pause as we begin to reflect on what is true of God and to recognize that he is the one who calls us to him, who calls us to worship, to to praise him, to remember, and to take joy in him. And so we begin the service with a call to worship. And this one comes from the book of Zephaniah, who's an Old Testament prophet, chapter three, in reflection as the people of Israel have been suffering, but looking to the powerful work of God. Uh, and so uh, this call to worship will have portions that are for the leader. So I'll read those. There'll be parts that say all. So go ahead and say those aloud wherever you are. Um, so that we can take part in this together and be reminded of the work that God is doing as we prepare to come before him in worship. Fear not, O Zion, let not your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. Would you join me here? He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. I will gather those of you who mourn for the festival so that you will no longer suffer reproach. Behold, at that time, I will deal with all your oppressors and I will save the lame and gather the outcast. And I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you in at the time when I gather you together. For I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. We come together to worship a God who is working and moving in our midst, one who we can find hope in and experience his love even in times where we may feel distanced from others. And so we come to him to find that hope. And we come together today to enjoy and remember that truth as his people. So let's join our voices in song as we praise the Lord and remember his goodness in all things. Let's worship together. <laughs> 